does somebody else have another issue that they'd like to be real time coached on? Okay, come on up. You got to be Dr. Jones. I'm going to. I'm getting in the moment. I have a dilemma, and I need your help. Oh. <laughs> Can I ask you for your help for something? Go ahead. Boy, she's good. She's good. <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you feel about the two people that talk that you didn't feel before? Do you maybe like them a little more? <laughs> just, just wondering. Much of my coaching with physicians is because they never thought about it. But we treat people and we act how we learned and how we were trained. I encourage a lot of discussions in the groups. I assume, just as a coach, that the answers to the challenges or the questions or the problems they have are in the room. My job as the facilitator to be able to hold up a mirror and ask the right questions so they can figure up their own solutions. And I want you to be aware as the report out of how you're feeling about the people that you're at the table with and discussing this. Also think about the values you admire in other people, what you are doing to show your values, and then what your vision is of what you want to be. So I thought that the act of participation was great. I thought that it came naturally. I thought that she recommended some really good plans of action for us to take the message beyond just that event so that we could go back to our desks and really start thinking about the types of principles she discussed with us. You've got 45 slides and my experience shows that your message isn't going to get across and I don't know what to do because each slide is so valuable. You got to say it with a straight face or it doesn't work. <laughs> she had me sitting on the edge of my chair. I left feeling smarter, better able to do what I need to do and better enabled to just tackle what we need to do, even if it seemed like a big challenge for this conference. So I see this as a virtuous cycle with education going to curiosity, and that is what drives me to do the work that I do. Suddenly, it was about how do you manage people? How do you get people to do what you want to do because you've related to them? And it truly is about relationships, and that's what you're building when you're here. If you take your career journey and stretch it out, then it becomes a straight line. And that's the important part of this, is how do you learn from the things that you've done? When you're vulnerable and you talk about what's really important to you, we all connect. I thought it was very helpful. The discussion around listening and the exercise of sitting there and, and, and focusing on a person, having a conversation, you could tell the impact it had on them. The first part is about the relationships that you establish. And to establish relationships, you have to listen to people, including the ones with 75 slides for a 10-minute talk. When they can start to open up to other people to be who they are without feeling they have to be a certain way that's not them, and when they can start working together as human beings and not as the positions they hold, it doesn't get any better than that.